Hello, welcome to Learning ADS in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 56 on probing intermediate nodes for network characterization. Here is the agenda for this tutorial. We will learn how to use SP probes to probe any intermediate node in your circuit design and then understanding and plotting the relevant results not only for fundamental but also for harmonic frequencies so that you can perform complete network characterization and get a better understanding of different parts of your design. Now to start with, subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe, click on the bell icon to enable all the notifications. And after you watch the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in watching similar tutorial. All right, let's get started and enhance our learning to do better job in terms of characterizing our network. Now to show you the concept here I do have a matching network design which we also discussed during the power amplifier design tutorial and in here we have um, you know combination of transmission lines short circuit stub open circuit stub to achieve the desired optimization goal or the impedance matching network design goal not only at fundamental but also on the harmonic frequencies at 2.4 gigahertz as a case study and here in the original setup we also had different s parameter simulators which are set on a specific frequency for which we were trying to optimize the network performance now after the optimization is complete if we go and you know simulate the design we can notice uh, our C1 target, which is basically fundamental, second harmonic and third harmonic targets, and how well we did um, in terms of designing our impedance matching network. And here you can notice that the cross uh, appears right over the dot, which is basically our target. That means we did a pretty decent job in designing our matching network for various frequency ranges. Now, this only gives you the final outcome of the circuit which you have designed because you have one port and you're looking at S11. But how do you know uh, which component in your network is doing what kind of impedance shifting uh, over the Smith chart plane? And that is what we are going to learn when we use SP probes. Now to illustrate that, let me open another network design, which is exactly the same. Basically, the only difference being here uh, that I have inserted something called SP probe. And you can notice there's one probe inserted right at the output so that you can look at the impedance or reflection coefficients. And similarly, there are multiple probes inserted at various nodes. Now each of these probes allow you to see the reflection coefficient looking in left direction as well as right direction. Now the question is where do you get these probes? Well go to probe components library and here along with the rest of the components you will find this component called SP probe. And by default the characteristic impedance is set to 50 ohm which is more often than not what we need in our RF circuit design. Now the original schematic has been simplified a little bit so that I can explain the concept a little better. So here I'm only running one S parameter simulation at fundamental frequency, which is set to 2.4 gigahertz. And the impedance target which I'm looking to achieve is 10 plus J10. And after the optimization is complete, uh, when we perform the simulation, you will see a plot, but we'll come to this plot next. Now in a traditional uh, S-parameter simulation, when you go ahead and plot, obviously you can plot S11 and you can look at the final result which you have obtained. And in this case, surely so, uh, if I wanted 10 plus 10 J ohm, you can see I had to have 10 plus J10 ohm because it's characterized, um, you know, normalized to 50 ohm. So we achieved the overall objective, but I would like to gather some more intelligence. And you can see the probes which are appearing under measurement list. You do have probe one, probe two, probe three at different places. And each of these probes have reflection coefficient looking on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side. Now by the construction or the placement of our probe, we are interested in looking at the right side because at every node, I would like to see how this 50 ohm get transformed 
to the impedance which my power amplifier output terminal is expecting which in this case is 10 plus j10 so plotting the right side um, you know reflection coefficient on this smith chart will give me the uh, profile or how the impedance is getting transformed so you can see the first probe obviously is showing me the 50 ohm impedance however if we start to plot probe 2 which is after a certain step or a transmission line as per my design and as you can see i do have an open circuit response you know stub along with the transmission line and I'm, I'm looking at the you know right side of this probe and all these patterns or combinations have been already plotted on this plot so you can see how we are transforming from uh, going starting from the 50 ohm point uh, we up, you know shift our impedance to tp2 by putting one open circuit stub and a transmission line from tp2 uh, with the next section we go here and then uh, by having another section we go here and finally this is the impedance which our network is providing us. So using this method, by inserting those probes, you can very nicely characterize the complete performance of any network you are designing for. And in case you have to achieve uh, specific targets from the network at a particular node, these probe S11 data can also be used under optimization. Like we are simply using S11 in this case, I could use the same uh, probe dot sp1 um, you know dot r s11 so this can become our optimization goal so that you can optimize the complete network at the desired location the way you want so that's all for this video hope you like the content presented and it will be useful when you do these kind of network designs using ads thanks a lot and happy designing